Hello everyone and welcome back yet again to my channel. In today's recipe I'm going to make some honey lemon glazed popcorn cauliflower that can more than easily replace its more commonly known chicken cousin. Trust me, just wait for the beer batter. Alrighty, let's dive into this recipe. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is to break down a head of cauliflower into florets about the size of your thumb using a paring knife or a utility knife like I have here um, so you can easily maneuver around those thick stems. Now, depending on how much you're going to fry, you might not have any extra to reserve, but if you do, make sure you save it for later because uh, these make for a wonderful curry cauliflower soup. Um, anyways, once the florets are all finished up, it's time to whip up the beer batter. So in a medium mixing bowl, you're going to whisk together the all-purpose flour, baking soda, salt, then some beer to incorporate flavor and volume to the batter. As soon as the bubbles die down um, just a little bit and the dry ingredients are absorbed, finish it with a little lemon juice to activate the baking soda and for a good acidic note, then it should be ready for the cauliflower. So get your frying oil to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit and begin coating the cauliflower in the beer batter in small batches to prevent crowding and possibly soggy cauliflower. We definitely wanna prevent that. Um, also try to drop them in one at a time so you get individual pieces as opposed to large clumps. Uh, now you can fry them three to four minutes or until they are a solid golden brown, uh, but just make sure they're extremely crispy. Um, even over frying isn't necessarily all that bad in this recipe. Once you're done crisping up the cauliflower, transfer them to a draining rack to prevent them from steaming too much and for excess oil drippings. After that, you're gonna put them into a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes to continue removing a bit more of that moisture in the cauliflower while still maintaining that really beautiful crisp texture on the outside. Uh, plus this time um, will really help you prep for the glaze if you're in a rush. So for the honey lemon glaze, you're going to add a generous amount of lemon juice and honey to a hot sauce pot along with brown sugar, a splash of apple cider vinegar, garlic powder, chili flakes, and a little lemon zest to finish. Reduce this for about five minutes or until it's a syrup-like consistency. Then you're gonna whisk in some cornstarch Cook it for two more minutes until thickened and reserve for the finale. Alrighty, so now that the glaze is finished, it's time to pull out the cauliflower from the oven and start tossing everything together. Um, just be sure not to overcrowd the bowl with the cauliflower, otherwise yet again, they will tend to steam and yield a soggy cauliflower. Um, also, it's okay to go a little crazy with the glaze, but just be careful not to soak them. Just a light glazing will probably do the trick. Uh, but once they're all glistening and beautiful, plate them in a little bowl or a container like this one, um, top with some fresh thyme and lemon zest and you should be good to go. Crispy honey lemon glazed cauliflower, ready for a hungry belly.
this looks really, really good. I love how crispy these turned out. The beer batter is just a perfect way to get these super crispy, kind of puffy, and just a really beautiful texture. So I love going the beer batter route, um, and it's really great for vegan items without having to do the whole breading thing. But these are literally like glistening with the glaze, and they almost kind of have like a fried chicken type look, obviously, with that. Um, you know, the crispy texture on the outside, you would, you would right away think this is some sort of, you know, popcorn chicken or like fried chicken type of thing. But I'm gonna try these out, shut up, stop talking, and dive in. So let me do that. Let's just go with the top one. Mm. wow. The first thing I'm thinking when I'm tasting this is it's just very clean flavors. You get that acidic, kind of reduced sweet lemon flavor, a little bit of floralness from the honey, um, a slight spice from that chili pepper, and then a lot of aromatics from the thyme and the lemon zest. It's just a lot of flavors going on, but it's all very clean, crunchy, crisp, very, very good. Oh, man, these turned out just perfect, much better than I actually anticipated. Mm. So good. Honestly, a lot of the times I'll go to restaurants and I won't expect that they have some sort of cauliflower, buffalo cauliflower thing. And if they do, I tend to order it just to see, you know, the variation or, you know, how big the cut size is or with the cauliflower and kind of the chef's approach. And it always tends to be these really big bulky pieces of cauliflower. You know, sometimes if they spent a little more time breaking down the cauliflower into smaller pieces, even though it's kind of a pain in the butt, and I can see why they might not do it for labor reasons. But if you do, you get such a, you know, such a cool product, and it mimics that, that crispy chicken, like, perfectly. Mm. This is a wonderful recipe. I would definitely recommend you guys trying it out, even if you're not vegan or you don't want to go the vegetable route. There's definitely a few other vegetables you can replace the cauliflower with for this recipe, and of course, you know, chicken and uh, different pork cutlets and things like that if you want to go that route as well. So, like I said, I definitely recommend you guys trying it. If you do, make sure you share with your friends and your family. Subscribe to this channel if you like what I'm doing here. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below for future video requests, things you want to see on my channel. And always check the description box for equipment and ingredients. I always post it down there um, in case you're wondering. And I will see you guys next time with another recipe. Later, folks.